It's the low down starring James Young. Tonight, James welcomes comedian Chris Alexander. Hey, I'm Tight Mike Randolph. Please help me welcome our host, James John. Come on. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you if you're on live right now. Oh, it's going to be a good day. I got a good feeling about today, man. As always, I want to thank you for that wonderful, colorful intro. And y'all give him some love, too. Tight Mike Randolph. Tight Mike. You know it, bro. You know what it is. Come on, man. I like it today, man. I got good energy today. You got good man. energy today. You it's Tuesday, it? but I feel okay. Friday energy. That's oh, right. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do your thing, brother. Which means I'm gonna call in the rest of the week. Oh. That's right. <laughs> wow. I'm joking. Wow. Where am I? But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you guys at home for tuning in, and thank you guys for being in the audience, and thank you if you are on our live right now. Be sure to leave a like. A comment, subscribe, smash the like button. That's right, people. I'm your host, Mr. James John, and we got a great show. We got a good friend of mine who's been doing some big things in comedy. We got Chris Alexander in the yeah, building. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. Tell you, Mike, I think they are ready. Okay, man, give it to them, bro. Let's give them a lowdown, yeah. if you will. Now, starting off, happy birthday to Lil Boosie. Mm -hmm. Now, the charismatic rapper turns 41 today. You gotta love Lil Boosie, man. This is a man that got his underage nephew a stripper for his birthday. Ah, <laughs> yeah. And also, he says that Art Kelly is the best singer of all time. Uh -huh. Now, enjoy your day, young man, but I really don't know about that, man. Art Kelly over Prince Ooh. or Michael Jackson? Ooh. Well, in Boosie's defense, though, his number one song was called Wipe Me Down. Uh, uh, so there's <laughs> that, and now I see why he picked R. Kelly. Yeah, well, you know, hey, that's mm -hmm. quite obvious. You're gonna need a wet wipe after. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, trickle down. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies, today, November 14th, is International Girls Day, mm -hmm. a day intended for women to inspire and support each other. We're gonna clap for them. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. queen. Yeah. 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 So that's right, ladies. So today, call your girls up. Tell them that they're beautiful, they're strong, and that they can do anything they put their mind to. Then tomorrow, go right back to telling Shauna how Becky ain't fooling nobody with that wig, and you tell Becca how Shauna's meatloaf is driving her elbows. Oh, that's right. Wow, wow driving her elbows. Come on, man. You know how girls do. <laughs> Girl talk. Girl talk. There Girl you go, talk. man. A woman's worst enemy, another woman. All right. Whoa! And Thanksgiving news. Now, most Americans are preparing turkeys and hams, but what's the new sexy side item this year? Believe it or not, the number one side item above dressing and cranberry sauce is mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Who knew all these years we should just keep it simple, man? I feel robbed, Mike. I mean, I love mashed potatoes, but my relatives, they always bring something that needs an explanation. Now, who wants beets infused with garlic? Corn-flavored carrots. Man, I would have been happy with a beat-up potato with butter drizzled over it with some sour cream and a little pepper and salt. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the way to a big man's heart is through side items, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. Give me some good food. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, it's probably not a coincidence that just a week before a day dedicated to eating any and everything, mm -hmm. we get to celebrate a different holiday today. Ah. It is World Diabetes Day. Ah. Uh -huh. ah. And if you've ever been to my family's Thanksgiving, it looks like a diabetes convention. Yes, ah. it does. Mm -hmm. Everybody in my family, Mike, has diabetes. Oh, wow. In fact, that's how we do the seating at the dinner table. Uh, what? Type one to the left, <laughs> type two to the right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Man. That's a shame, dog. It is a shame. Put the ham right in the middle. Ham though. right in the middle, bro. <laughs> you walk in our house, you can smell ham cooking. Wow. You can smell turkey cooking. You wow. can get metformin on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 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 Zimpic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, Mike, but uh, Thanksgiving for diabetics, we even cook a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you ever had macaroni and insulin? N never. It's <laughs> never. <laughs> delicious. Is it not? <laughs> Nutritious. It's like vegan. It's, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like <laughs> vegan. It can't be like vegan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, this is just hilarious. Now, Dana Rice, a realtor in the D.C. area, has gone viral after posting a video of the Taylor Swift mention jar her husband made for her. Now, much like a swear jar, anytime she mentions Swift, she's expected to cough up 25 cents. Take a look at this. I can't take it no longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't care. 
out. <laughs> they both were on Saturday Night Live yesterday. Mm. Bruh. <laughs> uh -huh. You know what's funny? Enough, I had to do the same thing with my wife, Mike. Mm -hmm. I set up a jar where she had to pay 25 cents anytime she would mention Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. At last count, it was up to about $188. Ooh, that's yeah, man. a nice chunk of change yeah, there, brother. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How long uh, before you left the jar out? Uh, it's been yesterday. Okay. okay. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's a bit much, oh. dog. <laughs> she don't even know our kid's middle name, but she knows Idris's middle is name. Is that right? Yes, sir. And yeah. she loves, but he the man, though. He the man. He, he is the man. He the man. Whatever. All right. <laughs> what do you? What, 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 what does he have that I don't? Besides talent and money. Hey, we, that's, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Everything else, y'all dead even, dog. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, y'all dead you. even, man. Thank you, man. All right. He got a Honda too. He does. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, finally today, I wanted to bring up something that a lot of kids have to deal with in America, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and that is bullying. Mm. Now, I bring it up because November is actually anti-bullying month. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, I want to ask you, man, as a kid, did you ever have to deal with a bully? Yeah, man, I was a little smaller, and I got picked on somewhat. Really? I, I learned how to fight a little bit, but I definitely got picked on like everybody else. That was a thing. How about you, brother? I did. I had to deal with some bullies, man, and... And I know a lot of us, if you ask people like what, what they think about bullies, most people would call bullies cowards or evil. Mm -hmm. But me, I would call mine my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. In her defense, though, she's okay. only mean when she awake. Okay. That's, I mean, that's okay. the only time, okay. bro. Okay. I'm joking, of course. You know I'm joking, baby. <laughs> She's mean when she's asleep, too. Oh, wow. Like, she all the time. <laughs> no, mean sleeper? I'm joking, man. <laughs> she dream mean. That's oh, funny. Wow. But the point is, bullying is wrong, and we all have to do our part to try to stop it. But keep in mind that not all bullies are actually human. No, the worst bullies are cats. Mm. Take a look. Mm. It's this scream for me. No, oh, all right. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a mean little pretty cat. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a mean pussy. Oh, cat, oh, wow. cat, 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 oh, wow. cat. Cat, you know what? All right. Yeah. Move, you, it I don't know why. <laughs> Move it on. I don't know why you keep doing this. All right, man. Well, a lot of you at home have questions when it comes to love. Now, lucky for you, we have our own resident love guru in the house. So once again, it is time for tips from Tight Mike. All right, just the tip. Oh, all, all right, right. y'all, y'all. <laughs> I can't help myself. Every Tuesday you do that, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, I got to tell everybody, this is for entertainment purposes only. Right. He is not a licensed therapist yet. Right, right. I got to redo my ID because they had my certificate ready, but I didn't have a proper ID. Yeah, I brought go. a fishing license instead of a driver's license, <laughs> and now they're going to work it out. So yeah, next you week, go. I get a certificate. Almost. We got this. Yeah, we close. But you're still helping folks out. I there. do break them up, keep them together. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Tight Mike, you ready? Let's do it, man. Here we go, man. Now, dear Tight, my new girlfriend sleeps with her dog in the bed. Now, I've tried to overlook it, but I just can't. Help, Mr. That's Not Sexy. Mr. That's Not Sexy. Mm -mm. You want the kibbles, you got to get the bits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm hey, man, <laughs> take your time, brother. Maybe you can talk to her and talk the dog out. Or get another dog, whatever you need to do, man. But you can't change the way she live right now. Take your time, though. Get a cat. How about that? Get a cat, and then uh, you have a pretty cat. And that cat will keep the dog moving around. Eventually, they'll both be outside. You lock the door. Now you got yourself a <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's actually great. Yes. There you go. That's actually great. Yeah, you can get him out of there, man. Bro, you got this. Yeah. Uh, our next one. Now, dear Tight, I went to church with my man, and surprisingly, we got out early. Mm -hmm. I'm still amazed. Mm -hmm. So I cooked. I think he wants me to cook dinner every Sunday now. That's not me. Help, miss, I'm in over my head. <laughs> miss, I'm in over my head. You're going to learn two words. Hamburger helper. That's what you need. <laughs> All right, you cook that real slow. Cook that real slow before you go to church. That's what Sunday's for slow cooked meals, like pot roast and hamburger helper and a turkey. If you do, and they don't sell right now. I get you one. Mm -hmm. You cook it this Tuesday to be done by Sunday. Mm -hmm. Take your time. You won't have to worry about all that cooking at the church. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you, though. That's the way to a man's heart is being home after church. <laughs> is that what? That's, that's, how you get, that's how you get yourself a man. You get your blessings right that's there. That's how you get your blessings. I like it. I like yes, it, sir. Man. 
Uh, one, uh, a couple more here, man. Now, dear tight, it's my first birthday with my husband. Uh -huh. Does he expect all the exciting things from our honeymoon? Help, Mrs. Special Occasion. <laughs> yes, Miss mm. Special Occasion. It's that man birthday special mm. occasion. You got all, all, all them ballerina moves and tricks and then the, the, the uh, rubber duck and all that stuff y'all had. <laughs> Same thing you did at the honeymoon you got to do for his birthday. Oh, look at it. It's birthday, Valentine's Day, and Martin Luther King Day because oh, that's, wow. what, that's what all the marching and singing was for. Oh, you wow. Gotta, you got to be special. <laughs> there you go. You got to be special. Martin Luther King Day, birthday, and, uh, and uh, honeymoon, anniversary. Ma, are you telling me that was Dr. Martin's dream? Hey, hey you, didn't, you didn't hear the speech? <laughs> I've been to the mountaintop. <laughs> hey, you go. That's what he was I know y'all think it was about summer, but that's what it was about. That's why I got him and Coretta had all them kids. That's funny, man. That's actually great, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, our next one. Now, dear tight, how many dates do we have to go on before you're considered a couple? This is a great question. Mm -hmm. Help, mister, this dating is expensive. <laughs> mister, this dating is expensive. No, it's not. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> take your time. Really? Uh, hey, if you take somebody out, y'all go together. <laughs> you ain't got the one. It ain't no three days to see if you like me. Look, you order the shrimp, we together. You order the steak, we together. If you mm. order the fries, eh. But we still together because I'm paying for it. Amen. All right. Anything you pay for, you go together. Even if it's for six hours or 12 hours, you still together, brother. <laughs> Keep in mind. That's Until what love deal is, is over. Love is a side item. Oh, wow. <laughs> One more real quick. Sure. Now, dear tight, I know your rule about coworkers, neighbors, and exes, but is it okay to date my mail carrier? Help, miss, I'm a sucker for a man in uniform. I'm a sucker for a man in uniform. You ain't slick. You trying to get that package. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, USPS is the way to go, man. So take your time. He got benefits, and he got mail, and he know when your bills come. So that's what you want right there. Mm. Good luck to you in your love life. Oh, that's a man that knows how much what your bills are. He sees them every Absolutely. single day. Absolutely. Oh, so if he still dates you, it must be. Yeah, he like you. He like you. There you go, man. That's what you need. And get the mail carriers, not the UPS workers. They different. They always do dealing in brown. You want somebody with the blue. Okay, don't worry about the brown. Gotcha. Better right. benefits, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that part. And everybody swear that UPS boy. Yeah, they work hard. And that's some, mm-hmm. Yeah. But think about it, though. If he's a man that works at UPS and he's used to working hard, maybe... He got to go to work. He <laughs> 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 ain't got no time. He ain't got time. He ain't love you. got to go to work. Gotcha. He got to go deliver other packages. There you go. That's Not you, the one that you, you looking for. Okay, you right. You know what you got yeah. this, man. All right, man. Thank you once again. Tips from Titan Mike. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. When we get back, people don't go nowhere. We got comedian Chris Alexander in the building yeah. right here on the lowdown. Don't go nowhere.
of 10? 10, 9, 8, 10, 9, 8, 6. Hey, people, I see you out there. We appreciate you. Me and Tight Mike, you guys always following us here on our live. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Keep this going five days a week. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I don't know. Sometimes six. And sometimes, sometimes six. six. Sometimes six, man. A-E-Y. Yes. Got sometimes you. Sometimes Y. Ready, 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 brother. Six ready. Six hey, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. That's my sexy welcome back. Yay, that's right. You guys are still tuned in to the lowdown. Now, you guys are in for a treat because I got a good friend joining me today that's been really doing some great things in stand-up comedy. You guys are going to know him. You're going to love him like I do. Please give it up, making his first appearance on the lowdown, Mr. Chris Alexander. Yes, yes, hey. yes. What up, man? man? My man, my hey. man. What up, brother? What's going on? There you yeah. Go. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Love the shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Love the shirt. There you go, man. <laughs> well, oh, I go. like that shirt, man. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't wear it, though. I mean, yes, yes, yes. No, nah, man, I don't wear any any shirt that says big on it. They already know, okay? That's redundant. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta risk it sometimes. There you right? go, man. Certain people. Now, thank you for being here first off, man. Thank you, thank you. Now, I want to talk about all the wonderful things you do in stand-up comedy, because you got a great story, man. You worked thank your you. butt off to get to where you are right now. Yes, sir. But we gotta know. We want to know okay. the origin, man. What made you go to stand-up comedy? Because everybody has a different story when it comes to comedians. Surprisingly, Grand Theft Auto 4. Mm. The video game? Yeah, the video game. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> that is the first time in history that yeah. anyone's ever said, the reason I started stand-up, I was playing Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, it, it was weird because it was like it was a payday for yeah. me. I worked at GameStop and then... Love that place, by the way. Oh, awesome store. Yeah. Awesome store. And payday, and I only had like seven dollars. Uh, I paid the bill, and I only had seven dollars left. And then being sad and depressed, I played the game. I did one mission, and got like three thousand dollars. I was like, something got to change. Because <laughs> <laughs> you was up in the I video game up. world, but I in was, the I was banking. Yeah, cash, stacks on stacks on stacks. But in real life, seven dollars, huh? Seven dollars. Mm. Uh, you can barely get gas. That's <laughs> right. That's right. You had to make some tough decisions. Oh yeah. So do I get the the, the, the cheese sticks, or do I get the the, the Whatever. Yeah. I, I got a cheese stick. So. There you go. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I got the cheese stick. Okay, but it, it, you got an interesting story because you continued to play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Because I wanted to know what led you to comedy, and you told me. What happened? You was playing so, Grand Theft Auto. So it's like just driving around in the game because mm -hmm. you know, I didn't have enough of gas in yeah. my life. So I just, there was a, like a comedy store in, in the game. and A I comedy was, club. Yeah, a comedy club. Yeah. And I went in and I watched Cat Williams and I just realized, wait a minute, Cat Williams is in the game. Mm. So, and it's something, A great comedian. A great successful comedian. comedian and he's successful. in your video and game. He, and he's canon to the story. So it's like, that's it. I just, it, it, it Comedy's your answer. Exactly. It was a sign. It like, was a sign. Like, gotcha. You could do this. So what did you do after that when you decided your comedy's going to be your next uh, adventure, if you will? So I... Made a decision, like, hey, I'm gonna go to class. I was also in college, mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, if I can make. Oh, you was, oh, you was, you I wasn't. Was doing you were professionally broke. Yeah. So you, <laughs> yeah, because you was at GameStop working. Yeah. Great store, not yeah. a lot of money, my, and you was in college. My wife had one half of my paycheck. Sally Mae had the rest. They so. bro, you had mm -hmm. two women, and you wasn't enjoying none of them. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. So okay, so you was in school at the same time too. Mm -hmm. So what did you do for the comedy? So um, I just decided, okay. Make a decision. If I can make my classmates laugh, then I'm gonna start comedy. So you're gonna do a little test. So I did a test. Okay, what happened? So I did the joke. They chuckled, and I was like, mm, "Good enough." And <laughs> that's all you need. That that's all I need. Uh, I, gotcha. I can work on. It. I can work on it. So gotcha. So I did a. This is back home in Palm Bay. So we went to um, a pizza joint. This pizza joint they did like an open mic. And that sounds about right for people who don't know. Open mics is where you go start out, where you right. go practice your stuff. It is usually in a bar, a pizza joint, right. an Amscot, but anything a like that. Man. Laundry <laughs> man, all that stuff, man. A lot of places. Yeah, so you went and you started. Now, mm -hmm. what was it like your first time on stage? Do you remember? It was very, I don't know if I can say it, but one-sided. 
<laughs> it was like one circle. You, like we you, like we had like one table of black people, uh-huh. and it was like, all right, let's start comedy, and they just got up and left. Like damn, uh, before you right. even said a word. Right. Gotcha. Wow. So all right. So but I just went ahead, just continue on, and I got a couple of chuckles. I just knew this had to yeah, progress. Going. You kept going. You definitely progressed. Because yeah. not only do you do comedy, I'm going to come right full circle back to that, mm-hmm. but you also are a DJ and a gamer gamer. Like, you never yes. left gaming. No. You actually are very good because you do Twitch, man. Yes. Gotcha. Now, Twitch is what, how you earn money by playing video games and people watch you. Yes. I've still not figured out how this happened, sir. <laughs> I don't know you. But you, hey, but I, you will take it. I, I, hey, I just turn on live and I say, hi, everybody. And I just start and playing. People, and and people don't even, they got the same game you got. Yeah. But they will watch you play it. Yeah. I love that, brother. Only in America. It's a great community. It it definitely is, man. So you do that, Mm -hmm. and also that you DJ. I bring that up because that's part of your comedy as well now. Yes. Okay, now how long you been DJing? Three years. Three years. What got you into DJing, by the way? Well, we had COVID, so everything shut down. There was no clubs. Mm -hmm. And again, with Twitch, it was like I wanted to do something different because for gaming is for me. Gotcha, okay. I wanted to do something different in my channel, so... And I love music. I mean, you do. I, we I, talk I, about hip hop all the time. Yeah, always. Yeah. So I figured, you know what? Now that I got a little something, and now I got want need a new hustle because everything closed down. Let me try DJing. Gotcha. Because I always wanted to do it. So let me try DJing. I never s- stopped myself. And I didn't know it's only been three years because yeah. you're good at it. You've actually done shows. Yeah. Uh, that I'm on, man. I, I had no idea. I wouldn't have hired you. Like, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Three years. Uh, Three years. No, no, well, no. I've, been, I've been a band nerd since fifth grade. Okay. So I play several instruments. I just have that ear for music. You so. do. You absolutely do, man. So I bring that up, you and your love of music and mm-hmm. DJing, because you met a very famous comedian and used those skills to do two things for him, DJ and do comedy. Well, I don't DJ for him. Okay. I, I might say that. You're going to give that correct. Gotcha. But we bonded over music. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So, so tell us who that was. Uh, Russell Peters. Come on, man. Talk about that. Come on, man. And he took a liking to you, and now, brother, he will call you up, and you will fly places and perform with that gentleman. Yeah. It's it, it been uh, several times where he called me, and there's several times where I called him. There's, like, uh, just a lot. I can't even think of it. It's like a lot of places like, hey, I see you're going to be in Denver. Can I come to Denver? He's like, sure, come on down. And just and, have and, a great time. And for people to know that Russell, Russell Peters is that dude. Like He, he, is, he does stadiums. He does yes. world tours mm-hmm. and one of the most down-to-earth, nicest comedians that you'll ever meet. You, you hear a lot of people talk about a comics comic. He is truly he a is comic. That. Yes. He is that, truly man. A comic. And he loves hip-hop. Yes. He loves music. His, I think his, like, his biggest, uh, like his best friend, I don't want to get it wrong, but it's like it's Big Daddy Kane. He like hanging with him like a lot. Like Bro. He, if you see it in the, uh, the, the hip hop awards, he's standing right next, next to him. Next like, door. I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations on that. Now, you know Tight Mike, veteran Tight comedy Mike. himself, sir. <laughs> Comic View. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Way man. back, way back. BET, man. Definitely. Chris, congratulations. As I tell you, everyone on your success, man. Uh, what do you like the most now that you're getting more attention DJing? Is it stand up still your passion or is the music more your passion? Uh, my wife. Uh, <laughs> Good answer. She Good got, answer. She got spies everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bruh, great answer. <laughs> music or stand up? Uh, stand up. Well, stand up. It, it's both. Music, okay. music is more personal for me because, like I say, I love music. And that's stuff for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's like for my own like health per se, mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm. mental health and so forth. Yeah. But comedy is the one way that we can help other people. Right. Per se. Great, man. So. I love the fact you said that because how many times after a show does someone come up to us and say? I'm going through a rough time, man. I just oh, went through a divorce. Someone just died, and I needed to laugh. Exactly. Thank you for what you do. Bro, that's the exactly. biggest high from performing. You're right, man. Stand-up yeah. comedy is a gift that we get to share with people. Yeah. The one thing with my set, because I talk about my oldest son. My oldest son, he has autism. You definitely talk about your truth. Yes, yes. you do. Yeah. And a lot of people come to me, oh, my child he has autism, too. He's on the spectrum, mm-hmm. and I got to deal with this every day. So it's a way for... Uh, for other people to vent out their problems mm-hmm. through the comic. And seek out information yes. through you, man. And you do it in a way that you don't degrade people or put them down, oh, but no. you just bring light to what, how different it is being a father. Yes. Yes, uh, I love that, because you do it well, man. Thank you. And, it's, and your joke's about, you owe your son money, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't make know fun how of him on stage. You know how true you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I owe him $200 right now. <laughs> you come home, Dad, I heard your little joke Yo. about me, all right? <laughs> you owe me $200, so I need to check. Got you, man. So I just want you to sh- people to follow you, man, on your okay. Twitch. 
page. I want them to follow you on social media. So can you share with them real quick? Yes. Your social media. Everything is the same. It's at uh, C Alex underscore page. I'm going to say that one more time. C <laughs> Alex underscore page. A lot of people get that confused with C Alice. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. 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 They're going to hit you up for the wrong reasons. Hey, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, use blue chew. That's so. right. <laughs> now, whenever we have a comedian or somebody with a great personality on, we like to play a little game called Five Questions. Okay. Now, don't get nervous. You ain't have to study for this one. Okay. All you have to do is answer honestly. Now, Tight Mike has a question, so whenever he is ready, Tight Mike, you take Bring it away. It. You ready, Mr. Chris? Mm -hmm. Bring it on. I'm serious when I put on my glasses. Oh, bro. Oh, 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 snap. oh, these, oh snap. these maritas, brother. There you go. <laughs> That's what happens when you turn 33. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right, question number one, my man. Uh, tattoos, do you have any? If yes, where? And if no, where would you put one? Mm. Uh, no, I do not have any tattoos. You don't have a tattoo? No. And you served in the military, and most right. military dudes have at least one. Yes. But you don't have none? No. I, I do want one. I'm trying to build up enough to get one. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a music note, mm -hmm. like a like an arm bar, mm -hmm. but it's going to have like my kids' initials because it's all CDA it, as notes. Nice. So. And that's your love of music and your love of your family. Exactly. That's a great answer. Yeah. Yeah. That great is answer. a great answer. Okay. James, we know you have one tattoo. Did Come you on. get the second one? Come on, bro. You know I'm out here tatted up, oh. man. How, oh, what did they say? I'm yatted up out here, man. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, Chris. I got tattooed. Well, I yeah, got I saw, one. I saw the I got one. one. It says Michelle on it. Uh, I'm going to get another one. I'm actually getting a tattoo with Michelle. I got her that for our 30th anniversary. Nice. Michelle's okay. getting a tattoo, and I helped her uh, figure out what she's going to write on it. It's going to say James. Uh, and if you see my husband, tell him to call me. That's what she's going to put on. Wow. <laughs> right well, you know what? That's great. <laughs> hey, question number two, guys. Uh -huh. uh, Chris, what was your very first job, and how uh, much did you get paid? Mm. Uh, I worked at IHOP oh. in Palm Bay, Florida. That's one reason why I got big. And... <laughs> I want to say... But well, they pay you in pancakes? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> pancakes and burgers. There you go, man. <laughs> and I think it was about nine-something, 9 25 nine maybe. Here's how I know that I'm old, Mike. Uh -huh. Your first I, job. My first job was at Winn-Dixie. Yeah. That's bro. right. Making minimum wage. Now, remember this, Mike? Minimum wage back then, my friend, was $4.25. Oh. That's how old I am, bro. But I will say this for Winn Dixie, it's been around for a long time. Some of that same produce that was around back then is still in them stores right same, now, same man. Stuff, the same, same one. Stuff. Yeah. I got you. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, very last one man hot seat question right here. Mm -hmm. uh, what's one habit you want to get rid of and one habit you'd like to keep? Mm. Um, to get rid of procrastination. Yeah. Uh huh. A great one. And a one I want to keep is my curiosity. My curiosity into things that keeps okay. me from, oh, let me try this. Mm -hmm. It fuels my ambition. Ah, that's a great answer, man. All right. James? One habit that I want to stop? One habit you'd like to have, one habit you'd like to keep. Okay, like I, I, I want to stop having to drink. All right. Before having work. to drink. Before work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I should have keep to that do going. That. <laughs> this is what you want to get rid of. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do that. Oh, okay. wow. <laughs> What's one you like to keep? <laughs> what's, what's a habit you like to keep? Uh, Definitely get rid of the first. Can one. Can I steal that one? No, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, work ha work ethic, man. Work I, I, I have so many jobs. I love the fact that if you want to get out of a situation financially, you can do it. If you want to work hard exactly. enough to do it, man. Okay. I don't want to lose that. There you go. Thank, Thank you both for playing. Uh, Appreciate Thank my you, question, but yeah, yeah, I got it. I need a refill, by the way. Anyway, Chris, <laughs> thank you so much for being with me, man. I wish you nothing but continued success, brother. Thank That's you, right. Man. On behalf of myself, Mr. James John, my wonderful guest, Chris Alexander, and as always, tight Mike Randolph. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>